Hello traders, it's Yanis here from Nikos Trading Academy and I would like to welcome you to another weekly Forex forecast. I have chosen six pairs, the ones that I would like to look a little bit closer. Many strategies that we have explained apply of course to other scenarios and let's check, uh, let's start from New Zealand dollar yen. We know that we have on New Zealand dollar yen at least where the price is right now uh, on the price section uh, we know that price is facing a major resistance area it, it was within this area before in a range and if I go to my daily chart that I can easily draw a really nice trend line I have again here my major resistance to verify but now with my lower settings I've seen that my trend line has broken and I have already a crossover of the maze and a 1 to 3. Now I have another 1 to 3 in progress this is of course a daily candle that means Monday morning that could start going down again I would like to focus short because I would like to get within this 1 to 3 to go for 280 pips but of course what you need to do is switch to the 4 hour chart and see what will happen here if price will remain long or it will start crashing down again on the other hand for a long scenario you know of course that again you have a trend line break a crossover of the maze and if you get a 4 hour 1 to 3 of course you can go long for 70 pips but this trade is way too late and you need to remember that these candles here on the daily chart it's actually just a spike so again focus short and also late long entry for those who want to trade that long having again in mind that if you do get your setup and go long for like we said 70 pips remember how powerful this resistance is so again what you would like is when price reach this area you need to try to bounce trade that short. We have uh, GBP JPY. On GBP JPY, again, I have a very powerful resistance area. One, two, three, four spikes, four weeks, one month, price couldn't go higher. I have a weekly trendline break. I do have the crossover of the MAs, but of course price is on my resistance area. If you want to go long, you will have to wait the resistance to break, get a confirmation and of course target then this area for your win-win, uh, sorry, for your last position. Now of course we need to switch to the daily and what we have is our weekly trend line, but now focusing we can easily say what happens if price gets squeezed within my trend line and my resistance. This is a clear breakout scenario. Again, having of course in mind that this is a really, really, really powerful resistance. So, ideal combination would be weekly, uh, sorry, daily trend line break and a four hour. 1 to 3. In case, of course, my resistance area breaks, I can wait for a 4 hour 1 to 3 to go long since I have already identified next possible target. You could also, give me a second, uh, this is my trend line, then if this is a 4 hour, I mean my 1 to 3 would like to be, sorry, my retracement 
using my previous resistance area and uh, support and the same thing here to go short let's check Aussie on Aussie if I go to my weekly chart I will see of course that here I have a very powerful support area and also in combination with my previous highs a very powerful support going through my 36 UMA this is a weekly range it looks small but it isn't this is 150 pips and again on the daily chart you have a trend line break on the daily crossover of the MAs and price has already given you some one to threes to go long now to go long it's late because price almost reached my resistance area remember this is not an exact uh, line my resistance is not going to be exact on this point so what I would like actually now is to see price getting squeezed in this area and then wait for the breakout also someone could ask me what if I get a retracement can't I go long it has to be combined with lower settings this is 40 pips only of a movement is way too late and also since price has reached my resistance area that could easily mean that price can start going lower and then I get my trend line break and my one to three you can always combine all these one to threes four hour one hour um, one to threes with lower settings entry like 15 minutes entry GBP New Zealand dollar you can see of course that we have a major major resistance and support area price created a false breakout higher lows crossover of the MAs and on my weekly I cannot ignore these lines here this is like a big huge wedge so what happens on wedges either you wait for the price to get out of this wedge and waiting your trend lines this one or this one to break and apply breakout strategies uh, or bounce the, the wedge that means if this is my resistance and this is my support price is already going short I have this also broken and if I focus in lower settings and find a 1 to 3 to go short I can target 130 pips and when price reaches this area I already know that I'm, I, I'm going to bounce trade that long so you could focus on a one hour retracement to go short again this is like 150 pips and at this point bounce trade that oh, sorry bounce trade that long going for 250 ideal areas to trade is the resistance and the support so keep an eye on bouncing within the wedges but now on GBP New Zealand dollar to go short on Aussie CAD we've seen that price has reacted on a major uh, support area false breakout higher low with a bounce trend line I don't have a trend line break yet but I would really like to monitor this so on the daily when your daily breaks you could go for a one uh, sorry for a four hour one to three to go long of course your target could be previous highs combined with some support area it's plenty of room and again all you need after you get your trend line break a, one, uh, a four hour one to three to go long 
Cadien, I can see on my weekly chart that I have the reaction here on my zone. I have a higher low. Price has reached my 36 EMA. And of course, as soon as my daily trend line breaks, sorry, my daily uh, area here, which is the 36 EMA breaks, I can combine that with a four hour to go long. It will be like 300, 400 pips actually to go long as long as my resistance area here holds. Now on Euro Aussie, again on my weekly chart, I have my 36 CMA broken. Of course, my target is already there. It's visible. And on my daily chart, I can see a clear area of support and resistance. Is it breaking? It's too early to know. But what I know is that if I get a 4 hour 1 to 3 below this area, I will go short. Otherwise, if price starts moving back up again and I get a 1 to 3, even with a 1 hour, that would be a perfect opportunity to go long within this range for 230 pips because what I already know for sure is that this resistance edge support area is respected and this is 260 pips so keep Euro Aussie in mind with two scenarios bound trading that long or if you get a setup go short On my weekly chart, I have major support area on these levels and resistance. And I can keep this support and resistance level. I should have it actually since 2017. I don't need to adjust all the time my major uh, support and resistance levels. I saw the reaction. I have my higher low price is moving I have the crossover or the touch of the EMAs and on my daily chart I already have a daily one two three the only thing missing is a confirmation on a lower settings that is a four hour one two three you just have to be patience to have patience 230 pips is the distance you can cover if you are already with a daily you should have also a tr sorry a trend line like that so price respects my trend line retraces i even have a daily one two three and the only thing is my four hour everything is looking good so far just wait for it Euro USD. We know that for some time Euro USD was in a very big range. And it looks like we're going to get back inside this range. Okay? That means my target now is all the way down here. I want to take advantage of these 800 pips. I switch to my daily. Okay, come on, there you go. And I see a really nice daily 1 to 3 forming below my support area and actually using this support as resistance. The only thing you need is to see your 2 to 3 line breaking to combine that with a 4 hour entry to go short. This is it. wait for that now the downside is that this one two three on the daily isn't lower than my previous low so could that be like a support area we need to keep an eye on this so if you get a four hour one two three try to create your win-win scenario 
within these 66 pips. Maybe with a f uh, 15 minutes entry or 5 minutes entry, it's up to you. So uh, these are the pairs that I have my eyes on for this week. Thank you very much for watching one of our videos. Have a great day. See you again on Monday morning with our top-down approach in our live room. Bye-bye, everybody.